वेलकम टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू एक्सॉर एंड एक्सनॉर गेट इन दिस सेशन सो लेट एस बिगिन दिस सेशन विथ द बेजिक सिंबॉल विच इज देर विथ एक्सॉर गेट सो एज इफ यू सी द सिंबॉल ऑफ एक्सॉर गेट देन दैट इज लाइक दिस वेर दिस इज माई आउटपुट एंड दीज आर माई इनपुट्स let us say my inputs are a and b and this is my output y so my output y that is a x or b right mathematically i can represent output y is equals to a x or b like this and one more way of mathematical representation is there and that is arithmetic logic gate so it is a b bar plus a bar b see this is what one another way of mathematical representation now let us see the xnor gate so see xnor gate that is complement of xor gate right so here when you see the symbol you will be finding there is a bubble in front of xor gate right so this says this is xnor gate symbol these are my two inputs let us say it is a and b so mathematically xnor means y is equals to a xnor b see this is how i need to represent a xnor b and another way of mathematical understanding that is a dot b plus a bar b bar right so this is another way by which we can represent xnor gate and as i have told you xnor is complement of xor now before we go for properties we should know how these both of these gates are functioning so let us talk about xor gate so if you see the working of xor gate then that explains how many number of ones are there at input side so if number of ones at input is odd in that case we can say our output is one so in xor gate work working if number of inputs are one to be odd in that case our output is equals to one right if number of ones at input is odd in that case our output is one else our output is zero and for xnor gate if number of ones at input is even if number of ones at input is even then our output is one else our output will be zero so if number of ones at input is even in that case our output is one else our output is zero for xnor gate right so this is how xor and xnor gates are functioning so let us make truth table from this working so if i consider two input xor gate then my input are a and b and if i say my output is y then for two inputs there are total four possibilities which is there at input side so those four possibilities are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and here we need to see number of inputs to be number of ones at input to be odd so here see 0 0 means even number of inputs are one means output is 0 0 1 means odd number of inputs are one means output is one 1 0 means odd number of inputs are one at input so output is one and 1 1 means odd 1 1 means even number of inputs are one so output is zero see this is how we can make truth table and when we talk about xnor gate then let us have truth table with two input xnor gate so if i say my two inputs are a and b and if i have output that is y then for two inputs there are four possibilities 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 1 and as per the working we need to see how many ones are there at input and if it is one even 
then output is 1. So 0, 0 means 0 number of 1s at input means even number of 1s at input. So output is 1 and 0, 1 means odd number of inputs are 1. So output is 0. 1, 0 means odd number of inputs are 1. So output is 0. 1, 1 means even number of inputs are 1. So output is 1. So this is how we can make truth table. Right. And here there can be multiple terminal XOR or XNOR gate. In that even we need to consider how many ones are there at input side. If it is odd in that case output is 1 for XOR gate. If it is even in that case output is 1 for XNOR gate. Now let us see the properties which is there with XOR gate. So in properties we need to see what will happen as if you short two terminals. So if I say I have input A right and my output is Y then if I short both of this terminal this will be the case which is there with 0 0 that is 0 and 1 1 that is 0. So our output will be always 0 for XOR gate if you short both of this input. Now in second property we will give one terminal as 0. So what is my output? So if A is 0, second terminal is 0, output is 0. If A is 1, second terminal is 0, then output is 1. Means we can clearly see our output is equivalent to A. Right. So our output is A if another terminal is 0. Now in third property we will provide second terminal as a 1. So one terminal is A and second terminal is 1. So what is my output? So for that we need to see, see if A is 0, B is second terminal is 1 then output is 1. If A is 1, second terminal is 1 then output is 0 means it is complement of A. So our output is complement of A in case of second terminal is 1. Similarly, as if we see properties of XNOR gate, then that will be invert of this, right? So you can see in XNOR gate, there is bubble over here, right? So if input is A and both input terminals are short, then what is my output? So 0, 0 means 1 and 1, 1 means 1 means our output is always active high if both terminals are short. In XNOR gate, if one terminal is A and second terminal is 0, then what is my output? So see if A is 0, second is 0, output is 1. If A is 1, second is 0, then output is 0, means output is invert of A. So we can say it is A complement. In XNOR gate, if one terminal is A and is if second terminal is 1, in that case what is my output Y? So to have it, we need to see if A is 0, second is 1, then output is 0. And if A is 1, second is 1, then output is 1. So what it means? Output is A. So these are the properties which we need to see, right? And here this property explains us how we can resolve examples so easily. So please focus about these properties that is so useful in solving examples. So I have made separate session for examples based on XOR and XNOR gate and one should know this property so that it will be easier for you to solve problems, right? So I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. The reason is based on your suggestions. In future, I'll make videos which will resolve your queries. 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो